Oh, it's true. It's true. But I just got two new games today. I was stopping in the pawn shop. I haven't been there since the last video I made, which was when I got the GameCube itself. And if you would, that would interest you for some reason, uh, I do have that on my channel just showing it because I got a really good deal on it. But I stopped in today to see how much my tablet was worth, and it wasn't any, anywhere near what I was looking for. But I always like to just stop in and see what they have occasionally. And I really don't have too much money to spend right now because there are some PS3 games that I wanted to, was interested in, but they were like 10 a piece. So I saw these were only $2 a piece, which equals 4 in case your uh, school goes by Common Core, you might not know. But here they are. And these were two of my favorite games on the GameCube. I don't have any games for it. I had like one old children's game that I'm, I don't know if someone gave me it for free or if it was in a bundle of games I got. And it was just so horrible. But I, I didn't even sell it when I sold all my old games. But I had it and tested it, and my, uh, it does work on my GameCube, so I know my GameCube works. But I got these two today, and these are my favorite the Day of Reckoning series. They had both, so that was really cool. And I mean, I remember getting Day of Reckoning 2 brand new. So that was when I started watching WWE. And uh, I bought this one like a few years later, but I enjoyed it. This one's really good. So I'm just going to show you. They even came with the books and everything that's why i like buying that pawn shop even as the little nintendo insert thing there the only problem is the discs are really scratched not horrible you probably can't see that at all but i don't know most scratched things i have work so these are really good games i have the smackdown versus raw series but this is a really good alternative that looks like Kurt Angle and Triple H. Stacy in the middle. And that looks like Orton and Triple H and Trish Stratus. Yeah, this was, I think this is like the second. Yeah, I think it was the second video game. Or second video game. Second wrestling video game I ever got. The first one was SVR, the original one. It was like 2004. And then this came out in 05. And I, back then I was a huge Batista fan, so I was like disappointed that his entrance didn't have the fireworks and it didn't have his newer music. But, because I thought like this was going to happen, because that was the, when I started watching it and I loved it then, and that's still my favorite era. It was like the 05, 06 era, when it was right before it got really bad. And, uh, put this in there. I was a bit disappointed with a little bit of it, then SVR 06 came out, and that was like the perfect wrestling game in my opinion. And there's Muhammad Hassan. He was really good at being a heel. But too bad that they had to cut off his gimmick pretty quick. I guess it was too liberally offensive. But can't have that. This one doesn't have the Nintendo thing, but again, it has the book. So anytime I get anything used from anyone, I always give it a 409 path so everything's nice and clean. There's always like little brown specks of stuff on this. I don't know if people like wipe their snot on it or if their big old cha tobacco done splashed on it and they were just too lazy to clean it. I don't know. Again, you can't see this one has a little bit deeper scratches, but hopefully it works. I mean, even if both of these games didn't work for only $4, I mean, uh, just to have the cases and the manuals, still a pretty good deal because I've collected wrestling games. I have a bunch of wrestling games, mainly because I got rid of all my old PS2 ones and PSP. I have a bunch of 360 ones like 07 to 13, and then I have 06. I don't have SVR, the original one. I off to get it again and then i got here comes the pain and uh i used to have just bring it i don't have it anymore off to get it but i have most of them and these were the main two i was looking for to complete my collection to what at least what i used to have so i'm happy about that and you can see this is the player's choice edition which it should be the people's edition for the most electrifying game on the market if this Okay, so, again, there's the back. The graphics weren't even bad on this game, but they were, like, not anywhere near, so that's how good the graphics on Day of Reckoning 2 were. I don't have a memory card, though, so I won't be able to save anything. And then, the graphics on this one were really good. I mean, they were better than PS2 uh, at the time. The thing that there's not any voices, only, there's only voices in the announcements. Or I should say the uh, ring announcer. And I'm trying to think. 
I like the theme music, like how it worked on this game, and somehow they looped it so it would go on forever. And back then, when I got my first MP3 player, I didn't know any songs, but I liked all the wrestling songs. So I would just, like, put it on record and record their songs for, like, ten minutes. And it was really stupid, but people were like, what's that music, man? I like it. Because they, like, they usually did have good music back then. It wasn't just, like, gimmicky stuff. Like, Edge and Christians was, like, the best music on the roster of both uh, brands. But that, so that was cool. I like how, I mean, even I think the newer, maybe like 07 or so on SVR, I think they started to make it so the songs were longer and you could use them in different entrances. I don't know what they do now, but I always like this. It just, it's boring that there's no commentary in the middle of the game. This has definitely the best physics in a wrestling game. You can break moves. It almost gets to be too much, though, when you have, like, triple threats. I don't remember playing the uh, story mode on this one. I did. I remember, like, something about Paul Heyman and stuff. But this one I played, and this is by far the best story mode in a wrestling game I've ever played. And that sounds weird, because this game doesn't have, like, the story mode's very different. It's like a personal, it's like, it doesn't have much to do with wrestling. And you wouldn't think it would be any good, but it was just so good. Like, you're in, like, a relationship with Stacey Keebler, and then, like, I'm not going to ruin all of it. But, you like, someone takes your title, or you, you were supposed to win it, or you do it, or I can't remember. But, and then you spend the entire year trying to uh, get it back or winning it or something, but it's really good. I don't remember all of it, but somehow it just how they did it. It was the best story mode I've ever played out of all the games for uh, WWE. And I remember the cage match at uh, SummerSlam. That was the hardest thing ever to get out of the cage of six other people, five other people. You had to tap A as fast as you could while they were all down. In it. I probably spent hours, if not days, trying to get it until I finally beat it. So it's not fun that I'll have to do it again, but... For now, I'm just going to play them a little bit and enjoy just seeing the old entrances and everything. I might do a video just like on one entrance of like both games to compare them. In the future, I, if I have a capture card or a better camera, I can do gameplay and stuff. Unless people would for some reason want to see these, I can do them with my current setup, but it's just the same quality you would see out of my other games. So, let's see if I have any closing thoughts. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I remember, I guess there's more GameCube. I guess GameCube had its own line of video games for wrestling. I think there was like WrestleMania either 19 or 18 and then 17 and 16. They're not that far back. But there was a couple of them. And I never had those. So if I want to get a complete collection, I do want to get those at some point. But for now, these were the two I played and two I really liked. So I will enjoy having these again. And uh, at some point now, I probably will do a, a little like video on just all my wrestling games and talk about them and everything but if you want to see more of these i'll have another video at least showing if they work and stuff and if you want to see more like this let me know and i'll subscribe to my channel for more so thanks for watching <laughs>